Let's paint a beautiful folk art flower using just a few strokes from Ukrainian Petrukivka style. The style of painting is over 200 years old and it's so much fun to use digital art tools like an iPad and Procreate app to create a modern version of these strokes. I just painted a light gradient and used a blur tool to make it smooth. Now let's turn on the symmetry tool to assist us so we only draw on one side of the canvas and the other side will be a perfect mirror image. Let's start by making a bunch of circles like this. Don't worry if it's a bit messy, it's just a sketch to guide us and later on we will turn it off. A large one, a small one. Now let's divide it into sections. Those will be our petals later on. lower the opacity and turn this sketch layer to multiply so it shows up even against dark colors. For the next few minutes, we're only going to use the basic ink brush that comes with Procreate app. Make an orange circle on a new layer and fill it with color. Make another layer and paint blue petals pointing down. Don't forget to turn on draw assist on every new layer so the symmetry tool works every time. Fill it with blue. Now with a lighter blue, let's paint three petals pointing up on each side. The symmetry tool will help us fill it with color. Let's do the darkest blue petals going up on a new layer and we can fit them in that round shape we have in our sketch, stopping about halfway through so the orange is still visible. Fill it with lighter blue. On the new layer, use light orange and draw these long shapes that look like raindrops. Still using the same ink brush, it has an extra benefit of smoothing your lines as you draw. So these are much easier to do compared to traditional paint. Trust me, I've done it a million times and my hand still shakes when I use gouache, but this is a lot easier. And now draw very thin lines with light blue following the direction of the petals. Traditionally in Petrukivka art you would use something super fine like a cat hair brush to do these. But Procreate offers us an ability to do these perfect semicircle lines. You just hold your pencil down when you complete each line and it will make it super smooth like an arch. Notice how the strokes and elements are very similar throughout the entire painting and by adjusting the size and angle of these raindrops and dots, we can achieve this rich decorative look that Petrukivka is famous for. Now let's create some circles in the middle using orange first, fill them with color, and then smaller circles using white. In traditional folk art, you would use something like the back of your brush to make these. Now let's switch to a texture brush, a spray paint brush that comes with Procreate to start shading or use your favorite shading brush for this part of the painting. Don't forget to turn on alpha lock so we can shade different petals without going outside of the petal boundaries. Gently drag your brush around the edges and you can even do some highlights with lighter colors to give it more of a three-dimensional look. Perfect. Now let's go back to our ink brush, create a new layer and start adding these classic Ukrainian folk art drop shapes to decorate our flower. Start very lightly and then increase the pressure as you move to the round base part of each drop shape. Maybe add a few dots too. Change the pressure to see larger or smaller dots. Just experiment, it's really fun. Maybe some smaller drops all around the petals. 
beautiful. Let's group all these layers and if you don't know how to group layers, simply click the one layer on top to highlight it, then swipe to the right to highlight the rest. Group button will appear, just click it and now you have a group that you can select as one object and turn it on an angle just like this. Let's do another quick sketch for the stem and leaves on a separate layer. Maybe add a few berries, lower the opacity of this layer and start a new layer. Start drawing perfect circles using your ink brush. Just make the circle shape, press and hold and it will give you an opportunity to select a circle up on top and you will have your perfect berry shape. Fill them with orange. On a separate layer, paint a couple of stems and leaves with dark blue. Maybe fill the larger leaf shapes with lighter blue and smaller leaves with gray. Let's zoom in and decorate our leaves. Again, the same basic drop shape along the middle creates a beautiful detail and maybe some dots. Now some loose strokes just to fill up the space. These are similar to the raindrop strokes, but you start with little pressure, then press down as you move along. Your stroke will become thicker and then lift your pencil slowly until the line disappears. Turn the alpha lock on the berry and leaf layers and add some shading with your Fat Nozzle spray paint brush, maybe darker, at the bottom and a bit lighter in the middle. Tiny whiskers on the berries using blue, looking good. I'll use the saturation tool to boost the colors just a little bit on the entire flower and we're done. Follow me for more digital folk art. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon.